In this video, I'll be showing you guys how I personally go about installing a porcelain farm sink into a face frame cabinet. Because a porcelain sink, uh, it's very irregular. Uh, I like to create a template. So that allows me to work a perfect fit around the sink so I can transfer those measurements to the face frame into the cabinet. In this case, I'm just using 3 quarter inch plywood, pre-finished plywood, which is uh, scraps that I have around the shop. And uh, I take piece by piece, I scribe the bottom, uh, scribe the sides, and uh, make sure that I have a nice and tight fit. Then I proceed to pocket screw and glue the pieces together. And that allows me to uh, transfer the perfect shape of the sink into the cabinet. Once I have the sides and the bottom scribed, I just add a piece to the top and that's going to let me index from the top of the face frame and give me the perfect height for the sink. Once I have the template all done and I'm happy with the fit, um, I use two-sided tape into the front of the cabinet, into the face frame, uh, to secure the template in place. Uh, another thing that I do, I go over the template with the sandpaper, I just sand the surface of the, the template, because that, that's where the, the base of the router is going to be running, so you want to make sure that, that it's a nice and smooth and flat surface. Here I'm just using a pattern bit with the top bearing and that just gonna follow the, the shape of the template into the face frame. So when you get to this point, make sure that you are happy with the fit of the template around the sink because any mistakes or any unhappiness that you might have uh, with the fit of the template around the sink is just gonna transfer into the cabinet.
So before you remove the template, make sure you have a nice fit on that bottom radius there. On this case, I was using a 3 8 pattern bit and it wasn't quite right. So I ended up switching the 3 8 for a quarter inch diameter pattern bit and that made it for a much better fit on that uh, bottom of the sink. And I also um, beveled the inside of the face frame with a belt sander uh, just so the outside would be nice and tight and that, uh, the inside wouldn't touch the sink at all.